Prostitution abolitionists have a saying to counter the facts that show there are really very few actual sex trafficking victims. Even one is too many. And we agree with that comment. One victim of anything is too many, including one victim of a predator law enforcement agent, or of a pedophile priest, or preacher, or rabbi, or teacher, or parent, or babysitter, or neighbor. What the abolitionists failed to mention is that the victims of child sex trafficking fall within the 4% of all cases of child sexual abuse, while the majority of victims have very few champions to cry out against the sexual abuse they experience. There are no crusades demanding that cops stop raping children, no rescue organizations raising money to create awareness of this awful, inexcusable crime. However, as you probably already know, the government spends hundreds of millions of dollars each year to find and rescue child victims of sex trafficking. Whether it is local law enforcement agencies or the state and federal government or the countless nonprofit rescue organizations who raise billions of dollars annually, no expense is spared when it comes to searching for those 100,000 to 300,000 child victims who are ensnared in the fastest growing criminal enterprise in the world. Despite the fact that over the past five years, from 2014 to 2018, only 90 cases involving minors were confirmed. What's even more bizarre is that in Operation Cross Country 11 in 2017, FBI agents and local law enforcement agents actually recovered 84 minors and arrested 120 sex traffickers. How does the math add up on that? I mean, do the sex traffickers have to timeshare those victims? In the 2019 month-long sweep targeting sex traffickers, 400 law enforcement agencies working on FBI, child exploitation and human trafficking task forces managed to recover 100 juveniles. 100 juveniles, 400 officers, a month-long investigation. Okay, where are the 100,000 to 300,000 child victims? Yes, there are undoubtedly more victims than the ones they found during those sting operations, but it is troublesome that with all of those hundreds of millions of dollars spent, those victims cannot be found. While the child sex trafficking cases are part of the 4% of all child sexual exploitation, what about the victims of the 96%? The predators who comprise the 96% are the people who are known by the child or the child's family. This video series will focus on the predators who are the first responders to allegations of child sexual exploitation. The very people who are supposed to rescue children, not rape them. The thousands of local, state, and federal law enforcement agents, men and women, who believe their position in government will protect them from prosecution and punishment, and who are far too often right that they will be protected. From sex trafficking to baby rape to creating, collecting, and disseminating child porn, these predators with badges and how they are treated by the same government that demands the incarceration of the non-violent, non-abusive clients of adult sex workers proves that the crusade against commercial sex is not about protecting the children. In future videos, I will cover some of the other child predators, like the priests and preachers and teachers, who are part of the 96%. And I will ask, if even one is too many, why are the thousands and thousands of victims of the 96% not enough to make the prostitution abolitionists care?